Can you pour some water in my mouth? <laughs> uh, if you have, I just need like a little sip. <clears throat> and then you do the skiaki, or. Solo. Thank you. That was that was, that was, that was soulful. <laughs> Japanese soul. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss 
Seven times a charm. <laughs> Most of us changed, changed it up. You know? Yeah, like it's. That's what I love about these sessions here, because yeah. like you're gonna end up with a version. That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Always just that. Yeah. Thing. Speaking of version. Nah, no, no. I don't want to disrespect. <laughs> yeah, that's like way too classic to just mess. Last name is Saito. Sato. Sato. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Craig and Sarah, they put uh, my name as a Saito on their video oh, last time. Oh. I mean, it's okay. It's Rio's okay. brother. You gotta tell him. <laughs> you gotta tell him. It's completely different. It's, it's yeah, completely it's a, it's different like, last name. You gotta, yeah. you gotta say it. Um, 
Salto is another word for sugar. <laughs> yeah, different you're kanji. Sugar. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> you're not introducing our guests very <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's our good friend uh, Tomoki Sato from Japan. We just Hello, did a couple man. couple shows in yeah, together. Shibuya. And oh, yeah. Like, that was fun. Uh, super fun. Yeah. That the adrenaline was it was high. It's still high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> it's going back down and I feel old again. But You guys are going to do shows over here? That'd be fun. Because yeah. we're oh, yeah. playing at the same festival, so we could mm-hmm. maybe jam. Like, you, you guys can join. Yeah, we just... Play whatever we play. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a rehousing, <laughs> rehearsal. Two so, birds, one stone. Tomoki, what did uh, Corey miss in in the intro? Um, Tell us uh, more about yourself. Well, he I'm told a, us basically. Sorry, nothing. I was getting there. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, so he got my name right. My name is Tomoki, and I'm from Tokyo, Japan, and I'm here to visit everyone and. Welcome. Aloha. Yeah, thank you. Aloha. You it's, very... it's my second time in Hawaii. The last time was your first yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Everyone is surprised somehow. Like th- Everyone thinks I've like been here been like here. many times, but yeah. it's been only that first and time. this is, yeah. Oh, this is my second time. How long ago? <clears throat> what was the first time? It was in February, so it's been only five months. Oh. See, that's weird. It feels like you were just here with that. The time frame, it's longer, but I was like, you were just here. Yeah. And then, I feel I feel the same. I don't know. It's a time lapse between here and Japan, and like it. I don't know. It's crazy, old. crazy. Thing. Yeah, it's funky. Which you, it's like your primary genre of music that you like. Right? Funk, yeah, like uh, R&B, the funk, R and B, soul. Yeah, that's a. When we uh we played in Japan together, like you were doing just solo ukulele with the funk stuff. I was like, oh, wow, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. this is like this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is this is the mood. This right. is the right. This is exactly what it is. It fit the 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 vibe of the venue as well. The, the right. venue, the light, yeah, like the, the spotlight on you. Yeah, it's yeah. like, wow, this is this is nice. Do we do we have to go home? I don't think we have to go home. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the guys like, get out of here, guys. Yeah. You guys had too much of my alcohol, <laughs> and the space is too small for all you people. Right. But that was uh, it. Was like an old fashioned bar in Under the, Deer. Uh, Under Deer Lounge. Under deer, yeah. Right in the city. We gotta Shibuya. take you there the next time we're in Japan. I think you would like that place a lot. When did you yeah. start doing this? Um, so I started playing the ukulele when I was like probably fifteen ish. Yeah. Um, so like two of... years. Yeah. You're only seventeen, <laughs> right? I wish. <laughs> Not. How long have you been playing then? Um, fifteen, sixteen years. I'm thirty-two this year, so. Nice. Yeah. I turn. I just turned. And, and you do this professionally? Yeah, I'm a full time musician. Nice. Back home, like I write, play, write. Yeah. Full band too. Yeah. Yeah, do, like, I do. Four piece. Yeah, like a drums, uh, keys, bass, and me. Yeah. So like that, my part with the uke is like a, a bit of the like a guitar, like electric guitar, like a one note. It's a comping. Yeah. yeah. And with a band, with yeah, it, yeah, it, is funk popular over there? Yeah, I think it's. I think like it's coming back. It's Same pretty much here. yeah, right, right, Same yeah, thing yeah. Here, yeah, like a disco, like funk. I think it's a. I think it's a good thing when, um, made the discovery of Folkbeck, and oh people yeah, immediately jumped on that. Mm-hmm. Was like, yeah, funk is definitely yeah, or mm-hmm. it hasn't gone anywhere. I don't know. Maybe. It hasn't, but it's just like different bands will come up that will peak. It's yeah. and then now you see a bunch of people doing like full peck style, yeah, Corey yeah. Wong, funk, yeah, yeah, uh, stuff, yeah. What is the ukulele scene like over there? Oh, it's huge. Like pretty much, maybe maybe in a way it's bigger than in Hawaii. Oh, definitely bigger, right? Than Hawaii, I think. Yeah, yeah. It is. Like we love, well, we love even before the ukulele. ukulele um, we love Hawaii. We love Hawaiian stuff. We love hula. hula. Yeah, Hawaiian hula is culture, huge yeah. over yeah. there. But the first time you came here was only five months ago. Yeah, like I I waited for the chance. <laughs> Did were you at all like infatuated with that that side of ukulele, or was it more just a tool to like? It's make just music a for... vehicle for yeah, me. Yeah, I yeah. love the sound. I I I don't play the guitar, but I love the I love the sound of the uh, you know. Not like at a, all. You don't play guitar at all. 
Oh. I only have five fingers, and the guitar has six strings, so it doesn't match, you know. So I use the thumb <laughs> for two strings. <laughs> 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 everything else works. He has a bionic. Cheating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it hurts, but you know, like additional finger green <laughs> <laughs> mechanic stuff. <laughs> That I was figured, like, like Jacob Collier's guitar, like reason for making the six string a five string. Usually. Oh, I saw that video. Yeah, 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 like yeah. he plays the totally five string Taylor or something, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, trying to change it up on us. Yeah. yeah, and I heard that Harb, no, not Harb, um, Daniel Ho, he's trying to make a three stringed ukulele. Oh, okay. I've seen that. So more for basic. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Just without the, the G string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> they did uh, they had something like that before where it was more towards guitar it was a different tuning it's like the same application but higher for learning Just the basic triad take off one of your strings and you'll realize that nah it's not as good it's like <laughs> how much is that ukulele well yeah. I just got my three string ukulele for free no, yeah. <laughs> but then don't do that with the tension you're gonna oh. scratch and maybe damage your ukulele yeah what what's popular over there for ukes? Um, you mean brands and yeah? In, in, in what? Oh yeah, what are what are you playing? Well, I play playing um, three strings. No. And I, well, um, so the Kamaka is huge. Well, you know, Jake is a big star over there, so a lot of people dream to have to own Kamaka, Koaloha, you know. Kamaka is like the dominant kind oh, of. Yeah. Oh, Koaloha too. Koaloha too, and then. Those are the most popular brands over there. Yeah, and then we have um, a lot of like small, like a, luth- a lot of yeah, local yeah. luthiers. Talk about what you're playing. So this is um, Ancestors. It's uh, made in Japan, made in um, Gifu Prefecture. And um, I've been using this for like over a little over two years now, I think. It's, uh, it's custom made. So core side size back and a spruce a spruce German spruce top Ten, it's a tenor size you use uh, just regular nylon yeah you it's a like four carbon yeah I don't I don't like the sound of the fiber carbon because mm. the nylon has more like a warm yeah warmer yeah, yeah warmer like the floor is like it can be too bright yeah, yeah the, 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 the high end is like kind of too much. Too much. Yeah. For, for my taste. You play Nothing with, wrong with you play with nails too, right? Um only thumb uh, only thumb. Uh-huh. I cut the other ones really short. Yeah. Because my nails nails are not that strong. And then if I play like three nights in a row. It you know, and, what does it like break? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's a it's a, I used to play with nails, but it was a lot of stress to deal with the cracks and everything. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I stopped it. The One thing I think is a factor too with the strings is if you're plugging in a lot because there's already a naturally kind of brightening up of mm. the sound that happens. Yeah. So sometimes with uh, fluorocarbons, it could be like yeah. too much. And I I like the the feel of the left hand too. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice better. Yeah. It's, yeah. Mm. So yeah. And they last forever. Oh yeah, yeah. But I change mine like like once a month or two months. That's still long. Yeah, 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 compared to, yeah. yeah. Like some people with fluorocarbon strings change them every week. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> Cause, really? Because wow. sometimes like they'll kind of peel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that you know, naturally that's normal. Happens. Yeah. If you play hard too, or um, sometimes if like the nut is too sharp or mm. it could be like a, just a bad string. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Next time I go to Japan, what's a store that I should go by? <sighs> Under Deer um, that's... Bar. Yeah, <laughs> you mean you mean ukulele shops? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> gives me clothing shops. <laughs> Walk up to it. Or, oh, yeah, sure. or made cafe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> one, one ukulele shop in one place to eat. <laughs> Sorry. One ukulele shop in one place to eat. <laughs> just made it even harder. I am. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. All right. To be honest, I don't really go to. Um, That's what I was any, saying. I was like, yeah. do you ever go to an ukulele shop? I used to when I didn't own any good ones. I went to all the stores and played a little of Kamaka and like one day, one day. That's why he plays a Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> but nah. I mean, 
you got some of the best luthiers mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of different individual mm -hmm. builders that are great. Yeah. I forgot who it was. I heard somebody recently like comment that Japan's thing is perfecting everything and they got done perfecting everything Japanese and moved on to the rest of the world. So yeah. <laughs> they just adopt things and do it so well. Yeah. Twist it. Make it better. Oh, yeah. Better and weirder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Toda Ukes? Oh, they're amazing. I know. They're, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love his sight. Uh, yeah. But he uses primarily fluorocarbon strings. So I kind of wonder what regular nylon strings would sound on his equivalent. To me, it depends on the build, too. Yeah. Like, there's mm -hmm. builds where, like, fluorocarbons have a warmth. And, uh, well, yeah. It, it gives the long sustain, so. Yeah. It probably sounds really nice. Yeah, they, they, would, they would surely <laughs> sound really, like, if not better as good with the nylon strings mm, too, yeah for sure because it is uh it is a really like driving bright oh, yeah like, in yeah. your face yeah yeah, kind yeah. Of yeah. Like, very hey. present mid-range is like yeah. you remember the last time we went to kiwaya they had a toda tena with the uh it was a toda yeah with the brazilian the, rosewood the, yeah brazilian rosewood the sides and back and yeah, 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 yeah 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 and uh the oh. really crazy bear uh german spruce yeah. That was really... I think that was the <sighs> my the my the favorite ukulele that I picked up. Yeah. The entire uh, uh, yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, trying out going to all the shops and trying all the use. That one was cool. Yeah. So. After <laughs> that I went to Kiwaya again. It was sold. Oh, oh yeah, it's gone. We already. were like the th we were thinking I was like, should we buy it? <laughs> I mean it's kind of a good no, price they, right now. They but... they turned it in for cleaning because us dirty Americans <laughs> <laughs> like oh get get it off the wall. I'm gonna wipe this I like off. I like his spruce rosewood the best. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually I'm asking them uh, ask, uh, asking um, ancestors to make me an another one. It'll be uh, no, some some kind of a rosewood size back and a nice. spruce top south american rosewood <laughs> it's kind of tricky to do international flights with the brazilian rosewood i'm scared if mm. if it is that's yeah, right. true it's yeah. scary yeah yeah because i i traveled with one for almost 10 years all oh, right well, but, right yeah like my, my custom from did Kamaka. you have to have papers or was it l more lenient at that point it or? was fairly lenient but just knowing that like they yeah could stop you it's just like oh this is my my pride and joy you know yeah it's like, they're oh. just gonna cut the back off your ukulele. Yeah, they're gonna cut it <laughs> off. The top give of the me the top. You, you can't take. You this. Know. It would take a real enthusiast to be like, "This is Brazilian rose." He's like, "I know." Like, Come on. Yeah. That's who Brazilian. in the TSA is? Like, yeah, that's like, Brazilian. Arrest like, him. Who knows? Like, what yeah. kind of TSA person knows if it's Brazilian rose rosewood or not? Unless First they all, play music. TSA, yeah. they you don't know? even get enough funding. They're not gonna pay somebody like a specialist to be like. Yeah, you're going to track down all the illegal woods that come But in. even still, you'd be <laughs> like, it's Indonesian <laughs> rosewood. You know yeah. what? Mm. Actually, I think it was a month or two months ago, um, Japanese guy, he got arrested carrying uh, Brazilian rosewood from somewhere. I don't know, the States or I, I don't know. Oh. Must have been a lot of it, oh. though, right? Yeah, they, like, he like legit got arrested. He was on the news. Like He, he works for some um, big music company oh, in Osaka. Yeah. Oh. Miki Gaki. Oh. oh. And <laughs> that's, that's massive. Yeah. Don't they have like like hundreds of locations oh, yeah. all over? It, like it causes center, a lot of criminal right? activity in South America too. Mm. Just by the value of those trees. Speaking of random uh I mean it's the same thing. Uh somebody got arrested recently, maybe like a week ago. Yeah. Somebody from Kanazawa had like two grenades. Oh, in his luggage. oh yeah <laughs> right here right like he was yeah imagine that just a nice you know japanese nice souvenir guy open sir what is this in your suitcase his freaking grenades yeah. it's like oh huh, yeah about that <laughs> but where, they weren't where did he they get them real they weren't there were um there aren't live grenades they weren't gonna oh okay. you know but still yeah like he had grenades yeah I, in his yeah luggage. it was a news in japan too like it like all of them had to evacuate <laughs> from the airports because of that, and and he's like, "Wait, they're not active. They're not. Re they're just like souvenirs." And he yeah. didn't think that was gonna freak everybody out. <laughs> he probably mind. thought, like, yeah. uh, at the back in the back of his mind, he probably thought, "Ah, they're not gonna freak out that much." And then America, oh my God, he has a bomb. Yeah, 
<laughs> trying to get on the plane with two grenades. Explosion. Okay. Why don't you guys play us another song? Uh, which one should we do? The Mr. Withers. Oh, sure. Let's try. Yeah. One, two, three. Um.
Major 7. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's good. What tools have you used to grow musically? Sorry? What what tools or what resources do you use to grow musically? Um YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like I start so I started off watching like every single videos of um Jake, you know, and and his too. <laughs> yeah like i told you so many times like he's he, he like he's one of the guys like i was idolizing like when i was like 16 15 16 when i started playing and uh, so i think we talked about the same thing in japan but i saw you for the first time playing um for the ukulele super jam wow yeah and I think you were there. Aldrin was there as well. Mm -hmm. And um, so now I so I started playing the ukulele before I started singing or writing songs with the lyrics. So I was you know instrumental player for 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 the longest. And now all the techniques that I developed watching Jake, you guys, and then I still do it i still use all te all those techniques while i sing you know so instead of like you know simple strum i you know i use all the techniques that i developed while i practiced um jake's songs clay song and not a lot you were attracted to the instrumental side and yeah. then came in with vocal yeah that's, and that's a helps. good way to go about yeah and it, yeah. it helps now because the ukulele has only two octaves a little bit more if not two and a half yeah so like but i i think as a whole band when i accompany my singing with the ukulele and it helps all those like right hand techniques it helps to give it more groove to my playing while I sing. And not a lot of um, ukulele singers do it. You know, they keep it simple mm -hmm. more. Yeah. And um, I think... Yeah, yeah that really can. spices it up. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, you yeah. feel the drums in the yeah, groove. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The whole song behind it. For sure. It. Yeah. yeah. Ukulele is great, though, for vocalists because it doesn't overpower. Mm-hmm. Your voice still is comes yeah. in big. Yeah, and the core voicing is so interesting with the ukulele yeah so, sometimes i completely skip the theory and i i skip the root note if it, it has like a crazy tension somehow it sounds better without the root you know and it's so interesting yeah and sometimes when i play with band i thought that i think the chord is this and then we i play the band with the band and it's a totally different chord because if 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 all those guys play the same chord it sounds weird oh i thought it was you know uh g major seven but in the end it but he's playing to be a b e, 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 e. Oh, yeah, right. oh so <laughs> oh like right. like, like yeah, you yeah. know what i mean but i i don't play any e note the bass player yeah the bass player yeah. yeah and it's really interesting especially with the high g Oh yeah, you yeah. Can get different, unique ambiguous voices. chords. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can space out the notes yeah. a little further. <clears throat> I love it, man. I, I, that's. I, I'm waiting for more band with ukulele because yeah. I think it it fits in really nicely. Yeah. And I mean, like, the guitar can still kind of touch upon what the bass can do, but with bass and ukulele, you really have a nice separation, and then with a bed of like keys or something behind it yeah. yeah and then with the band the acoustic guitar it's more like a foundation like f but uh with the ukulele ukulele it cut through all the sound somehow so i you can like i use it more over like a electric as a like like electric guitar 
you know. Yeah, yeah. It you know, acoustically, when I'm over here, like, filming when you guys record, I love the way that Kalei just punches through with his solos when he just, like, takes it. And, and oh, it's like you hear you. the ukulele <laughs> just acoustically in the room cut through, like, everything, even more so than guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, frequency-wise, it's mm -hmm. just, like, punching through, yeah. yeah. So I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, even with the pickup and stuff. Mm. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the cool. guitar can overpower the ukulele in so many different ways. But when it comes to clarity, the ukulele stands yeah. out yeah, you know, yeah. in a really good good way. <laughs> it, it was fun having you up. Yeah. yeah it, we'll have I've, to do it again. I've been watching you guys like this. Oh, really? Yeah, for, for, a long, for, for such a long time. Well, welcome to our shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. Now you know yeah. how it really is. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, this oh, is where so the what magic talk happens. About, uh, He's everything. like, oh, man. <laughs> the equipment's yeah. not working it's, for a while. It really isn't and... that awesome. <laughs> yeah. Even great to, for this all place those is a mess. Yeah, Japanese people to, <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you get to have more Japanese players, like I think, to be on this show is kind of like a like milestone for all the all the ukulele players. Oh, that means in, a lot, and in, we would be delighted to have any anybody oh, yes. that you would yeah. suggest. Yeah, our viewers are are always excited when they see someone new. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it's great. We can promote our friends and show the the world like hey, the know, ukulele sometimes community I think like people just awesome. want you to because like our numbers like are a lot of times more but I don't really care because to me it's like more fun to feature mm. new people and um it's always like a whole different experience for yeah and who knows what's gonna happen yeah. right it's and it's like, always freaking yeah. awesome yeah like the last I mean the last one we do with Tihani and whatever else yeah I, like yeah kind of I discovered so many artists through this program oh that's awesome yeah so well, we'll put we'll put a link to Tomoki's uh, yeah, probably uh, stuff. Instagram, yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah. Put it so right at the bottom out, of the screen. Go follow. Maybe, maybe not the screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I drove a pop it just to like, hey, point, you know, point in the general direction and down. I mean, I guess I'm always amazed because I'm still struggling with my first language, but you speak English really well. I yeah. mean, more so than I would expect out of the average. Right? Yeah, because um, I was an exchange student ah. in the states. Well, only for a year. For for a year there, I went to um, I can. I was totally in Massachusetts, that, yeah. and then but after I came, I went back to Japan. I majored in international communication mm -hmm. at uni, so all my classes and you know everything was in English. That's cool. Where did so, you go? Like Todai or something? Nah, <laughs> Aoi, Aoyama. You know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, but I feel like I'm losing. I don't have man, like, as many chances to speak. Gotta watch in, like, American yeah, so it, movies yeah. and TV yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to watch all the all the series in English and well, yeah. hanging yeah. out with you guys it helps me. Oh, cool! Yeah. So uh, yeah. this is my second day here. So I flew in yesterday morning. So probably my English will be better. Yeah, by the end like, of by the end of the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it comes back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta you do got the it, you gotta do the one day in America, but with like a really thick Japanese accent. And then day thirty, <laughs> like, howdy y'all. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my <laughs> name is Tomoki, and then five days. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, Hawaii? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> thirty days in Hawaii. Oh, what's yeah, up? Like, <laughs> so in that way, like language is like a music, music. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. first you gotta the know like the stuff. vocabulary, and then after that, it's about how fast you can pick it up and like output. You know, and if you if you think, but there's so many little nuances if you want to actually capture that. Yeah, so sound. it's a never-ending process. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a musician and and a vocalist and stuff, yeah. I'm sure you can hear and it better. Than in most. the end, it's both are to communicate with other people. Either it's other musicians yeah. or with the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Should we all just speak the same language already? I don't know. It seems we're silly. We're speaking music. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the one. We all just speak American. <laughs> yeah. We'll fight over which language. <laughs> all right, guys. Want to give us some more music before we head out? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, what, are we... what about in an original? Oh, sure. C to C sharp major. Right? D minor to. D minor to C to Yeah, yeah, that's all
to E minor to F sharp minor. Yeah. Holy crap! And then the chorus is, back is, to is, key, key of D. Is your band name is is the name Tomoki? Uh, no, it's just myself. But I like. But like, if I was looking on Spotify, would I find anything? Um. So actually, th that's the thing. So I was signed with a label. I left. Um, I left uh, the label a couple years ago, and since then I only put out a few songs. So there, oh. yeah, all all my originals are, and I they have the right, and I yeah. don't, I don't want to really go through like hassle. You have a fresh through. slate to like build. Yeah, on. I'm I'm probably I'll probably do a full album next year, doing um like crowdfunding stuff nice. and okay, yeah. Do you know the guys at Basis Records? Basis Oh, Basis Records in Osaka. Um, my friend. Because they have a recording Nichi. studio. Over oh, yeah. There. yeah. I don't know. And he's like really good with recording. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm just throwing out the one recording studio I know in Japan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he's really I'm like, sure there's a million. He's ones. really particular about like everything. Right, right, right. And and he's a big supporter of ukulele. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe. He produced, um, you know, Ron Artis? Oh, yeah, one yeah. Of his, one of his albums recorded. Oh, really? Here. Yeah. Oh. And it sounds really good. Yeah. Wow, maybe. Kanichi. Yeah. Before you leave, maybe I'll let you listen to that album. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like he has a there's another album that he gave me that you can just, just mm -hmm. listen to. Yeah, really they're top notch. Yeah. We... What's the name of this uh original? Um it's it's in Japanese Tarinai Kurai ga Chodoi, but uh if I translate it to English, um not enough is enough kind of thing. Like it's about, you know, I always, we always get up, get caught up with the the idea of not being good enough, you know. Especially with the s socials, you know, mm. you always find someone with better skills, you know, better, better body, better, better, better everything, sound, yeah, and better everything, yeah, better everything. <laughs> it's like, who cares? But yeah, but like in the end, who cares? You're you're yourself, so and it's your life and you know stay positive and some people if, even if you're not you even if you you think you're not good enough some people might disagree and they find you the best at that thing so yeah i i, I write about that like, oh man. yeah i think you guys are all top tier enough is in, is uh, in, an in our own ways but sometimes I don't feel like you know. Of so, course, no, no, a yeah. lot of times we don't feel like that. Like mm. you know, every time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I hear you guys play. I'll just quit my. <laughs> 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 you know. Um, Come on! Don't quit. Yeah. So let's hear this. Song. Yeah, should, we, should we do that? Yeah. You, you remember that? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes to B flat, B flat minor, and A minor D. G minor, F sharp minor, E minor, F sharp minor. Right? So G minor, G minor, A minor. A minor. Yeah, and then E minor. F sharp. And then the. That's that. That's that.
from Tomoki. Yeah. Thank you very much. Top of the charts it's in Japan. Song. Or should be. <laughs> you want to record that here? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Wahiwa Records. This is where it's at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so follow Tomoki at the links that I leave below. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Every thank time you very much. Every time you're in Hawaii, come it's, by and see It's us. an honor. Yeah. It's, it's an honor to be same, here. Same here. Yeah. And to other artists in Japan, um, look us up when you come down. Well, yeah. yeah we I mean, you don't even have to speak as good English as Tomoki. You can or just come down and make music. If uh, there's Isaac to translate for Isaac Peters, thank you for for driving up Tomoki. And yeah, he you know, hooked me up yeah. with you guys, and he did so. the the tour with you guys. And so yeah, yeah. um, yep. look him up at Ukulele Lab. He's he's an awesome guy. And if you're in Waikiki, that's the spot. Mm -hmm. And um. We love you guys, and we will see you soon. We got Abe Lagrimas coming up on Monday. <laughs>